Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Python Plays Minecraft Let's Play. We are back inside the world, my friends, on the 14th episode and today is the day that we're going to be starting work on the tree structure itself and also a little bit of the surroundings. As you can see, we already have some of the surroundings going, but I still want to do some more things because my intentions with this entire project are we'd have this uh, we'd have this giant oak tree here as the centerpiece with a pathway going all the way around it with a bunch of buildings coming off sort of filling up the clearing. So the clearing is indeed going to act as the town center and in the meantime we need to go ahead and do a little bit of this action because we're going to see if we can't get ourselves a cool little something something going here my friends honestly because I think it's about time. I think it's time we've got some cool things going inside this world, my friends. It really is that time. Those guys are really freaking loud. Oh my god, let's turn them down to like 50 or so. There we go. So once again, guys, I want to thank you guys for the amount of support you've been showing with the series. It has been absolutely out of this world. And of course, as always, if we can keep that up, then that would be very, very much appreciated. But yeah, here we go, my friends. We are starting to get some things done. Starting to get all the things done. Um, just trying to figure out, is that a bit wide? I think it might be a bit wide, but I do intend on filling up this pond right here, uh, the entire thing, and obviously leaving that pond out there all good to go. So, yeah, all we need to do is continue doing this all the way around, and what will happen from there is we'll have a bunch of buildings coming off the pathway, and yeah, it will, it will do the job really, really nicely. I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks when it is done. So, let me go ahead and get on with doing this, my friends, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright guys, I thought we'd bring you back in for a progress update and this one is to say that the ring road around the oak tree is now complete and I've also used a bunch of bone meal to go ahead and uh, put a bunch of foliage on the ground next to the uh, next to the river so we're all looking good. There's a little bit here that needs doing but luckily we have an axe with silk touch on it so we can go ahead and grab some grass blocks and get that thing all rectified really quick. I wouldn't mind having a silk touch shovel though. That is one thing I would definitely not mind having right now. So yeah, okay, so let's have a bit there. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll have a bit there. Oh, that literally just crashed over as soon as I broke it. Interesting. And yeah, I think that's everything, man. I think that is everything. I'm going to do that bit there as well. And aside from that, that is the ring road pretty much done right there. So what we can now start doing is start placing down some buildings all around the edge of this here city or the, you know, the ring road, should I say. So, hello. Oh, good day. Hi. Hi. -hi. I don't know where you came from, but, you know, hello and all that kind of stuff. Uh, where's this? Where? Oh, hi. Okay. You suddenly, like, came from nowhere. I'm pretty sure that zombie was, in fact, Houdini himself in ghost form. Uh, well, or zombie form, should I say. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know all these things. But <laughs> one thing I do know is that I want to go ahead and get this thing covered up and all the sand replaced with dirt so we can actually start, you know, building on there. Because what I want to do in this episode is I want to make not only a vine farm, but also a cactus farm. The design of the cactus farm is going to be the same design I used in Neptune's Empire on my first world, which of course involves having a 4x4 formation of cactus with some uh, sort of signs and blocks in the middle which will sort of break the growth, but then the drops go into the water and then they get caught by a hopper and then the hopper goes into a chest. It's, it's a basically an automatic cactus farm and it's pretty dang awesome. So we need some sand and a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to need a lot of dirt to fill in this uh, this pond. So let's go ahead. And I'm thinking I'm thinking a time lapse will do the job this time, my friends. So let's go ahead and fill in the lake. There we go, my friends, all filled in and all nice and flat. I also replaced all of the sand and surrounding gravel with dirt as well, just so it all fit in real nice. So, yeah, we're looking good around here, my friends. And I think the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab some building materials because... Ooh, what should we make first, the vine farm or the cactus farm? Do you know what? I'm going to leave that a surprise. Let's get some building materials and let's get on with our first build, shall we? Oh, you gotta love that beautiful night sky right there, my friends. So pretty. 
Alrighty guys, I've got the foundations down for the cactus farm building. We're doing the cactus farm first, my friends. And in terms of the size it needs, the actual cactus farm itself requires an 11 by 11 square. So as you can see, we've got a size a bit longer than an 11 by 11. We've got a 14 by 11 because I wanted to have like a little sort of uh, entrance style thing. So people could sort of see into the farm, I guess. And obviously we can have a bit of a storage area going in here as well. So it's all gonna be cool. So, this is where the drops are going to wind up. So, we're going to go ahead and... Well, first of all, we're going to put a plank down there. We're going to pl put planks down here as well. There we go. And this would be the produce chest. So, that is all fine and dandy. Okay, looking good. Uh, let's have ourselves a crafting table. Because you never know when you might need one in here. So, boom. And we're going to have a bunch of chests just around the place just to sort of fill the place up a little bit, if you get what I mean. So, again, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, one more chest, like so. There we go. It is getting dark. And I don't know if I want to risk my life or not, to be honest with you guys. Hmm. I don't know, man. Do you know what? I, I, I feel like we might be able to carry on with this. Although, if a creeper comes along and blows me up, then, of course, I'm going to have to think otherwise next time. But uh, hopefully that's not going to happen. So, yeah, we're just going to keep going for now. There we go. Looking good, looking good. And we'll have ourselves a... We'll just have a top slab. There we go, because, of course, then you can still open the chest right there. All right, cool. So, next of all, I'm actually going to need a bunch more chests. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do a bit of this. I believe I'm going to need four chests, actually. So, we can make another one here. And then another one. Obviously, we're going to be using these to make the hoppers. So let's just get a bunch of this out. There we go. Split it into five. Do a bit of this, bit of that. Hoppers. There we go. All right. Looking good. And then all we need to do is make all the hoppers sort of face into the chest. There we go. Uh, that's not even the center either. So actually, we're going to need yet another hopper. Dang it. <laughs> I keep thinking I got all these measurements done correctly, but nah, -uh, nah. -uh. You can try to be prepared all you want, but you're not gonna have it. Oh great, bunch of zombies. Well, we know what this means. My local difficulty is 4.97, which is double the normal hard difficulty. So that's why everybody has pretty much like OP bows and blooming armor and everything. You can see someone with chain armor up there. People with enchanted bows. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting to say the very least. But, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we need to make the inside of the cactus farm 9x9... Nine nine, oh god, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> the reason why we need to do that is so we can make everything flow into the center. So if I just go ahead and fill it all in for you guys, boom... And a little bit of that. And I should probably clarify as well, this is actually not my own design. This is uh, this is a design used by someone else. I can't remember the name of the person, but I will go ahead and grab the link for you guys if you would like to go ahead and see how he makes the stuff, you know, work. So that's all good. But what we need to do now is make ourselves a bit of a 4x4 formation, like so, because there's going to be sandstone going on top of all of this. Uh, okay, still not around. Okay, we're all good. That's in the wrong place. But yeah, you get the general gist. What we're going to do... Uh, basically how it's going to work is when the cactus grows, it's going to fall into the water, into the hopper, and then into the chest. So here we go. We've got sandstone next. Now I should probably clarify as well, I will be getting rid of this dirt. I just placed it down so it's easier to do this sort of thing. So boom, 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 boom. And then of course the sand itself is going to go on top with the cactus, so boom, boom, boom. Yeah, man, this is gonna be sweet. We're gonna have ourselves our first auto farm. Actually, no, it's not a first auto farm, is it? It's our second one, because, you know, we've got a mushroom farm as well, haven't we? Yeah. Although that one's sort of semi-auto. This one's fully auto, isn't it? Because fully auto means you don't have to do a single thing. Don't even have to flip a switch. So there we go. That's that all planted down. So all we need to do is make the uh, sort of make the stoppers so the cactus can't grow too tall. And then place the cactus down. So yeah, let's get on with this thing, friends. Alrighty, guys. That's all the growth stoppers in place. As you can see, all you need to simply do is place down a block. You know, completely surrounded by four signs on all faces. So, yeah, that's all you need to do. So, all we need to do now is start placing down the cactus and, of course, get the building finished. So, yeah, let's get on with it, friends.
Alrighty guys, here we go. The building is pretty much nearing completion. And in terms of what I'm going to be using for the windows around this thing, I'm actually going to use leaves. The reason why I'm using leaves is because, in my opinion, they fit in quite well. And obviously, we don't want to have panes here because if we had panes, then there is a possibility that the cacti might get stuck on the sort of ledge beside the panes. So we're going for full blocks here, my friends. And I thought that the leaf blocks would do a nice job of making it all blend in, I guess. So, yeah, this is... Hopefully going to be working out pretty damn well. Let's get rid of this little pole right here. There we go. And we're going to get this thing going all the way around the edge. And in terms of the window going into the thing, as in like going in here, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have glass going here because why not? And yeah, everything is looking peachy. It's looking good, man. It's looking really, really good. All right, let's grab some glowstone really quick. I hope I've got some glowstone left. Do I have the glowstones? Oh, I only have a wee bit. Mm, do you know what? I don't think we're going to need a lot anyway, so let's see if we can't get this to work. <laughs> this looks kind of cool, actually. Alright, uh, let's have a bit of glowstone there, and a bit of glowstone there, and just for the sake of centering it, we'll have one there. Yeah. In fact, you know what? I'm going to swap them around, because, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like things being in a straight line, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Looking good, so we've still got... Well, we've got 17 cactus in there now. Hey, one has grown, my friends. One has grown. I'm liking this. This is sweet, unless I've missed one out, which is entirely possible, considering my uh, my lack of memory most of the time. Uh, nope, it's all looking good, my friends. Okay, so I'll tell you what, while we are making our way back to try and pick up the glass, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from Aiden Crofton, and he says this, Python, when will you be moving out of your shack? If you are, you should make a huge treehouse in the trees. Now, obviously, I believe he means this tree, maybe? Or in the trees in general? Uh, I actually intend on making this massive tree stump house thingy. It is going to be a full-on tree, by the way. I should probably clarify that from the start. But this is going to wind up being my new eventual home. I intend on making, like, a big layer at the top where all the leaves would be surrounding. And that would be my, sort of, home area. So, yeah, I do have I do have plans to make myself a proper home inside of that big tree. But that probably won't be for a little while yet, considering the amount of materials we're going to need to actually get the tree going. I mean, it took a lot of blooming resources as it was just to try and get the stump going. So, you can imagine how much we're going to need to get the whole thing going. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be absolute murder. It really is going to be absolute murder. All right, here we go. So, we've got the pains. I don't think I can go to sleep. Because there's peeps all around us. There's skellies all around us. I don't know what to do. Ouch. No, I'm just going to leg it, man. I feel like legging it is going to be the best thing for us to do, man. So, yeah, let's do this. And, of course, guys, if you have any uh, any feedback or comments or questions you'd like to leave in the comments area below, be sure to do so. And you will, of course, have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out in the comment question of the video segment thingy. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. All right, so let's roll on in here. Oh man, this is still really quite dangerous actually. So let's just uh, let's try and get these things placed in. Uh, now, obviously, you know this is glass panes, and as I said, the cactus might have a slight chance of getting sort of stuck on the ledge here. But since we can actually access this ledge, and since it's only the ledge that we'll be able to get to, uh, it should be okay. All right, let's just look at. Oh, oh, look, they're popping off now. Look at it, man. It's working! Oh my god, my little cactus farm! That's so freaking awesome! That's brilliant, man! Okay, so, moving on, we are going to be making ourselves a vine farm building. So, yeah. Let's keep the hype up, and let's keep the building going, my friends. Alrighty, guys, I've got the foundations of the vine farm house slash building thing down. As you can see, we're putting it literally right next to the cactus farm building, simply because I want this to be like a little sort of mini street, if you will, coming off the sort of central, I don't know, the, the ring road, if you will, the central ring road of Canopy City. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to see what kind of things we can do. We're going to be going for a similar design to this one, but we're going to be using fences for the windows instead, because we don't really have a reason to use the good old, the, the things, you know, the things, the things, I tell you, the things. All the things. I give the greatest descriptions for things, don't I, guys? 
All right, so we're going to do a bit of that, a bit of that, because obviously vines, they grow down, so it doesn't really matter what block they're placed on. So we're going to have leaves on the inside this time. And as I was mentioning, we will have fences for windows, simply because they look kind of cool. So, yeah, I thought we'd go ahead and go for a slightly different floor, though. We go for a, we're going for a very simple cobblestone floor. So we're going to fill this thing in. We're going to get the windows done, my friends. Uh... Hmm, I'm thinking regular oak fences, simply to add a little bit of contrast, a little bit more colour to this thing, so... I don't see a reason why that shouldn't work. Oh, hey, there's clay down there. Interesting. Some say I should mine it, but you know what? I'm not going to do that, because <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> Alright, boom, 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 a little bit of this, you know how it goes. We're just doing the old flim flam, getting everything put down, my friends. And then we'll have two buildings done in one episode, which i got to be honest, I'm feeling pretty damn hyped about. So, yeah, let me go ahead and continue on with this, and we shall cut back in once the building is done and we're ready to place the vines down. Oh my god, it's a zombie invasion. They're actually invading my house, and they're succeeding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, oh god, they're not even stopping either. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. You can't get in. Lol. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh god damn it, they're not even stopping either. <laughs> guys the building is nearing completion as you can see we've gone for a cobblestone reef for this one and yeah it's looking good my friends i like how everything is sort of encased around it it gives it a bit more of a cozy sort of town ye olde town feel i guess arlo but yeah let's go ahead and do the inside ceiling really quick and then after that of course we could start placing down the vines Okay, got some uh, stray leaves in here, apparently. That's fine and dandy. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and a little bit over here as well. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. So now we can start going ahead and planting these things down. Of course, we'll put them down on the top layers so they grow down, obviously. So that's fine. Go on, top layer, buddy. Top layer, that's all I want. There we go. Uh, ah. Ooh. Ooh. Design floor. Design floor. Hold on. I'm going to have to rejig this, aren't I? We can't have the lanes be only one block wide. They have to be two blocks wide if we want the vines to be grown on both sides. Ah, you see? I did not consider that, and I really should have. I'm actually kind of ashamed of myself. I should have really, uh, I should have latched onto that a lot earlier. But, oh well, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling a bit lazy, so let's just use cobblestone slabs, shall we? There we go. Pretty simple fix. Should be done pretty quickly. There we go. And then, of course, we've got these things back. One, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. And then the leaves again. There we go. All right. Now we can place them on both sides. <laughs> wow. I really should have thought about that, shouldn't I? That was a bit of a lapse of judgment on my part there. There we go. And once again, over this side. And that will pretty much do the job. Yeah. Looking good, man, looking good. We done did it. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. Do you know what? I'm going to curve this off a little bit by doing this. There we go. Looking, looking good. I'm pretty sure my voice squeaked though as well. <laughs> God damn it. But anyways, guys, on that note, I think it is time to end off the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, guys, it is time for me to head off. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your continued support as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode.